Hello guys, today I'm gonna resize the disk of my virtual machine where I install, installed like a ghost Windows XP and I created a disk which is only 5 gigabytes of RAM even though it's written that Windows XP fits in 1.5 and requires 1.5 gigs after the installation and all the updates to Internet Explorer 8, whatever the size of the Windows XP grow up to 4.5 gigs so I don't have space left on this virtual machine and I decided to extend the size of the disk resize the disk and this is what it says I will put all the links down below in the description so don't worry about that it says that first you have to add plates you can test when you resize the disk or virtual machine to avoid confusion and disasters think the process like adding or removing this plate okay so this is the way we are going to think about that and this is what we have to do actually i'm using right now virt not virt io i'm using id disk and when i click twice on this virtual machine here we go this is the virtual machine on the hardware and when I click twice I see that the disk is called IDE0 so I assume that this is the command I have to issue here in the example we have this I'm gonna resize my disk I'm gonna add two gigs to this virtual machine in order to do that I'm gonna go to the shell of my virtual of my uh, Proxmox virtual environment paste here the command change whatever needs to be changed five if i need of course i can uh, i can resize it later on id uh, zero i believe it was like this id zero and let's try and see what happens qm resize plus resize 100 this is the id on the virtual machine which is clear seeing that it's 100 and I look at the disk which I want to resize its ID 0 let's see if that works size of logical volume blah 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 from 5 gigs expanded to 7 extends to 7 gigs a gig gigabytes logical volume per way. okay let's go back and see now what happened hard disk 7 gigabytes okay perfect so the next thing we have to do is enlarge the partition in the virtual disk in order to do that actually I found a software uh, which is called here the best way to increase partition size in Windows XP resize partition it says here that uh, Windows itself cannot do that. This management cannot resize Windows XP partition, so we have to use third party. Two ways to free increase Windows XP partition size. And there is a link to a tool which is called uh, Mini Tool Partition Wizard Free. It's only 58 megabytes as far as I remember. So this is what we are gonna do. We are gonna start our virtual machine install this tool download install this tool and extend the size so let's start this virtual machine now let's bring up the console so we'll see what happens Windows XP is loading up is booting up and as I said we'll see that there is no almost no space after the installation of Windows XP on this 5 gigs virtual hard drive so we'll need more space okay Windows XP so let's go to my computer and show you the size when you click here on the properties we'll see that we have only 526 megabytes or 501 megabytes which is absolutely not enough 
let's go to internet find a mini tool install it and we'll see what we can do now yeah. um postman blah 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 re-enable okay those are all my add-ons here windows xp guest notes of course i'm gonna use virtio drivers but this is gonna happen later because i have to install a partition mounter and after that mount from fedora whatever i have to mount iso file with virtio drivers but for now let's look at for this driver which is going to help me now to extend my desk it's called mini tool partition wizard free let's go back to my machine hmm. Um, mini tool partition free. Mini tool partition free. Why did I do seven gigabytes? Because I want to put this virtual machine on a 8 gigs flash drive. I want to be able to do that. Of course, if I need more space and this procedure is successful, I always can increase to 10 or 16 gigs, whatever I need. And as we see, the first part at least worked perfectly. So let's see if Windows will be able to do that. Okay, it loaded finally because I almost don't have space on the hard drive probably that's why it's working so slow but let me hope that I will be able to download this software mini tool partition wizard free okay as I said it's a very very little tool so hopefully everything is gonna work okay thanks for downloading mini tool partition wizard free Okay, I'm waiting for the download to happen. Here we go. Okay, I'm starting this immediately. I'm gonna close from right now. I don't need it anymore. Run. Yes. Home use, yes, as I accept that. Install it, install it, install it. Clicks next, 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 and gets installed. Let's run. Resize the disk, add two more gigs, and if it's necessary, I'm going to repeat this procedure again. Finish, launch it. Of course, while it's resizing, probably I will pause the video and resume later. So we're waiting for this magical tool to appear. Okay, loading. Um, Mini tool partition wizard free. What is that now? That data recovery, launch application, whatever. Uh,
launch application. Okay, I'm gonna close from. I don't need it. This is what I need. Okay, probably it's full with ad with advertisements. QME hard drive, QM hard disk. Okay, so unallocated two gigs. Uh, migrate, copy, let me find where it is. Copy this partition disk recovery wizard. Okay, let's click with the right mouse button, move resize. Move the slider to the to the right, to the to the end, seven gigs. Okay. And ha. Huh. Was that easy? Now we simply have to click apply. Pending changes, note, we strongly recommend you close all other applications before you do that. I don't have any other applications, maybe my computer to close that just for any case and hit yes. Plot all the pending changes successful, successfully. Okay, so that was it. Let me check now the size. Properties. Yeah, I do have seven gigas. Thank you very much, guys, for watching that.